Hello YouTube, Lightbringer here. Um, summer has begun, so um, rather than upload a video today, because today is Monday and I don't usually upload videos on Monday anyway, I figured I would give you guys a very, very long overdue um, like state of the channel video. I'm going to try and do these, I think, annually. Like, not once a week or once a month, because there's not enough of a following here for that, like, for the most part. So, um, probably once every three or four months, I'll do just a quick little video like this. Um, few things, um, my wife may or may not be having a surgery this month, it's June. Um, and my brother is getting married next month, so I will be doing a lot of stuff personally. Um, also, my friend Jarrell is doing a D&D &D campaign, so I'm super stoked about that. It's been, it's been a year since I've played D&D &D and I was DMing, and this one, I don't have to do that. Also, let's see... Tomorrow, I will be uploading Shovel Knight episode 14, which is the end of the Iron Whale level. We'll be fighting Treasure Knight. Um, after that, I don't think I'll be uploading any more Shovel Knight episodes. If you are an avid follower of that series of videos I've done, please let me know in the comments for this video or that video that, hey, by the way, I would love to see the rest of the game because I don't own it, or you're my favorite person watching to do it. Um, I know recently I've noticed Game Grumps did it, and they do it a lot more funny than me because there's two of them. Um, but they recently did... Um, Shovel Knight now has a co-op option. So, I might try to do that with either Av or Rage Warrior or whoever's around. Instead, I will hopefully be recording more episodes of Zombie Army Trilogy. I've started titling them as Zat, Z-A-T, because the title is so long that you can't see which episode number it is. So, to fix that, I'm trying to shorten things. But doing those with Rage Warrior, just watching them, editing them, they're fun. And I don't usually have fun editing because I'm just listening to me. But listening to Rage Warrior and I laughing at my failures and hitting guys with rocket launchers point blank. Don't hit people with rocket launchers point blank. It's not a good idea. Um... It's it's really fun to do. Like, everything about that game is fun. Playing it, doing it, recording it, editing it, every facet is fun. Um, also, the fact that the game kind of has built-in good break spots really helps me with recording. Whereas with Shovel Knight, if the level takes me 40 minutes to do and I don't die often or anything like that, you're stuck with a 40-minute video you gotta watch, and I don't want to do that. Zombie Army Trilogy, you either die or you find a safe house once every about 20 minutes, like clockwork. It makes my day immensely simpler. There's that when Rage Warrior is not available, because, you know, wedding stuff is going on. Um... I think I'm going to try to do The Witcher 3. I know I keep saying I really want to do that for my summer game. I don't know if I'll be recording it, though. You guys will probably know better than I do, because I've never really played a Witcher game. Uh, I've played... I played, like, the tutorial of The Witcher 2, and it kicked my butt. And from my experience, if the tutorial kills you over and over, this is not the game for you. Um, I did briefly go through the tutorial of Witcher 3 because I was checking for sound because it's been a few months since I've actually recorded anything. That's the great thing about YouTube, kids. You can record a couple hours of footage and edit it in little 20-minute chunks and you're set for weeks. Um, if I do The Witcher 3 or Zat, I will try to put up a video every day. <laughs> So, Monday through Friday, or maybe 
Monday through Thursday and then do an episode of something else on Friday. So like if we record the D&D sessions or I just have an idea. Um, for the most part, I don't think my whole heart's going to be into any game I play during the summer. Because I am so stoked for Destiny 2. Like, it looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic. Me and the wife are already planning to go the midnight launch. So I will be putting up some first looks on that one. Um, I'm sorry if the camera is shaking. I'm sitting on a bed and the camera is sitting on my bed. So shakiness happens. Um, but... Destiny 2 has me so psyched. And then after that, in the next year or two, we have Borderlands 3. And I finally got back into Borderlands 2, and I was like, oh my gosh, now that I know what I'm doing, because I've been playing more RPGs in real life, it really... RPGs are my thing. Um, currently, Av and I, the wife have we we played for like a week playing a game called divinity original sin my brother turned me on to that you'll see me talk about it a couple of times in the zat videos the first few and oh my gosh it's fun uh it it is truly an amazing game for a kickstarter game you can't tell it's it's great it's very intuitive there is so much you can do so many options the game itself pretty much tells you your very first character is either going to be wrong or die a lot. Like, not wrong, but there are things you need to have in your build that if you don't know you need them, like being able to talk to animals, you don't know that's important until you realize there's like three or four quests early in the game that are you talk to an animal. The animal says, hey, can you throw me back in the ocean? Because it's really dry on land. And you're like... You throw him back in, you get, like, half a level's worth of XP and a chest. And you're like, whoa, I got XP, I got loot. This... This is an RPG. I'm happy. So, if we play that, I might try and record some of that. If not, that's okay, too. Um, Witcher 3, I'm gonna have to play, I will do a video post-tutorial, post-opening credit scene, because if you need to see the tutorial or you need to see the opening cinematic, go and play the game, or I know they're all over the place on YouTube, so you don't need me for that. Um, I might try and just travel around, just to make sure I like the controls and they don't kick my butt. This time around, it looks a little more streamlined and hack and slashy than Witcher 1 and 2, where you had to, like, hit this button way over here to be able to use this function over here, and that's never fun. Um, but it seems they, they got a lot of things down, and my brother's like, if you sucked at 2, 3 will make you look way, way better. So we're, we're going to see about that. And until then... It'll be a week or two before I start publishing those videos. Um, until then, tomorrow I will be posting The Last of Shovel Knight. Friday will be another episode of Zombie Army Trilogy with Rage Warrior. The week after that, stay tuned because I don't know yet. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a long, safe, happy summer. Lights out.